Stop loss orders, whether they be stops or stop limits or trailing stops, can be an excellent way to manage your risk and protect against excessive losses. But how do we actually place the stops within Thinkorswim? Today, we'll be going through all of the actual steps to place those stops on positions you already hold in the account, brand new positions, and as a part of a bracket order. Now, beginning with placing a stop on one of our current open positions, let's go ahead and first head over to the positions page right down here at the very bottom of our screen. Looking here, we can see all of the positions in my account right now. We can also see the prices I bought them for, the current price, and how much I'm up or down since buying it. Now, in order to actually place the stop, we'll simply click in the little check mark box just to the left of the stock. So in this example, let's say we wanted to use my PayPal position as the example. We can see here I currently have 100 shares. Looking to the right, you can see I bought it for 75 and currently is trading for 89 bucks. So let's say I wanted to protect the majority of those profits. I wanted to say if it ever dropped back down to, let's say 85, I wanted to cut my losses and I just want to take that thousand bucks of profit off the table. So in order for us to actually do that, we'll simply come over to the left-hand side of PayPal and just go ahead and click on that little check mark box. It'll then open up a little window right below it. And all we have to do is click on the button marked close selected. You'll then see it immediately takes us to an order ticket where we could then specify how many shares we wanted to sell, the order type we wanted to use, and then the price we wanted to sell at. Now, right off the bat, you can see my default order type is a limit order. But if we started to hit that little arrow to the right, you can actually see the stop order type, the stop limit, and the trailing stop order. Let's go ahead and begin with a regular stop first. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the arrow back over to the stop type. Looking right below that, I can then specify how many shares I wanted to put this stop on. So I don't have to put my entire position. I do have 100 shares of PayPal, but let's say I only wanted to stop out of 50 of them. So right here, I'm clicking on the quantity and I'm going to go ahead and delete out 100 and type in 50. After typing in the quantity, I could then come down here and actually specify the stop activation price. And as of right now, it's specifying 89. But if I remember right, I said I only wanted to stop out if it dropped down to 85 bucks or lower. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that out of there and type in 85. Besides that, I could also specify how long I wanted this order good for. So if I just wanted it good for the day, meaning if I don't get stopped out by 4 p.m. Eastern time today, just go ahead and cancel it. I could leave it as a day order. But in my case, I do actually want to flip it over to a GTC order or good until canceled, meaning put this order out there every single day and hopefully I don't get stopped out. But if it ever drops down to 85 or lower, get me out of this thing. But that's really it if we just wanted to place a very simple stop on one of our current open positions. So again, what I'm essentially saying is if PayPal ever drops down to $85 a share or lower, put out a market order and get me out immediately. Just get me out of these shares because I don't want to lose any more money. So in this case, I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to come up here and hit the review button in the upper right hand corner. It'll then bring up an order confirmation screen where we'll just confirm everything looks right. And in this case, it does. So next, we'll just come up to the upper right hand corner. And if this was a real account, you would hit a button marked send. But in my case, this is a paper money account. So I'm going to go ahead and select paper trade. You'll then see it takes me directly to the order status page where I can actually see my open working order to get me out of PayPal if it ever drops down to 85 or lower. Later down the line, if I wanted to edit that or cancel it, I could simply click on the order ticket, then either hit cancel order to just outright cancel it or hit cancel slash replace to edit it in some way. But again, that's how we're going to place a very simple stop on one of our current open positions. Let's next say we actually wanted to open up a brand new position and actually put a stop out right behind it. So in order for us to actually do that, let's come back over here to the order screen and let's come up here to the search box in the upper right hand corner. For this example, let's say we wanted to buy shares of, I don't know, Meta, M-E-T-A. We'll then go ahead and click on it in the list here and that'll take us to the stock profile page. Now, the very first thing we want to do is actually build out the opening buy ticket. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the word buy up here. I'm then going to specify I want to buy 10 shares of Meta if it ever drops down to, let's say, 150. I'm also going to make this order good until canceled. So if it could ever buy it for 150, go ahead and buy me 10 shares. Now, what I want to do next is actually specify if this order ever fills, if I actually ever buy these shares of Meta, I actually want to put out a 10% trailing stop right behind it. 
So in order for me to do that, I will scroll down and what I'm gonna select is the button mark Create Advanced Order. That'll then take me to an advanced order screen where I could then specify the orders that I wanna go out right behind this one. In this example, I just want to put out a stop behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add order here. I'm then going to come over here and actually click on that order ticket because I do need to edit it. So right now it is specifying a limit order. So I do need to come over here and flip that over to a trailing stop. It'll then allow me to actually specify the trail amount. But as of right now with that little plus or minus icon, it means it's trailing it by 10 cents. And I actually need to click on that and flip it over to a percentage amount. So now that I do have the percentage selected, we'll come over here and I'm gonna change the trailing amount from 0.1% to actually 10% and hit done here. Really the only other thing I need to change here is flip it over from a day order to a good until cancel order. And now that I'm happy with that, I'll simply go back to the group in the upper left hand corner. So now looking here, what it's essentially saying is I wanna buy 10 shares of Meta if it ever drops down to 150. Then if that order ever happens, I then want to put out a trailing stop 10% below that. So if this stock ever drops 10%, get me out of this thing. So it looks good. It looks like we filled everything out correctly. So now we'll just come up here to the review button in the upper right hand corner. We'll then look through this order confirmation and it's again just telling us exactly what we just did on the previous screen. So it says order one is to buy the 10 shares, then order two is to sell those 10 shares. So it looks like everything looks good. So we'll just come up to the upper right and hit paper trade or send if this is a real account. You can then see it again takes us to the order status page immediately and we can actually see our opening working order to buy 10 shares of Meta. And you can see it's actually the key for the second trade. And you can see the second trade is linked to the first one. So this is gonna be one of those incredibly simple ways to automate your trading just a little bit. Now, finally, the very last example I wanted to go over is how you guys can put out an OCO bracket and include a stop order. Now, you guys can do this on both an open position that you already hold in the account as well as a brand new position. So let's just go ahead and go through it on a brand new position. So coming back up here to the search box in the upper right hand corner for this one, let's say we wanted to place a trade on we'll even say GE here. So go ahead and type in GE and go ahead and select it in the list. We're then gonna come back up here to the upper right hand corner and build out an opening ticket just like before. For this one, I'll leave it as a limit order to buy 10 shares. I'm gonna change the opening price down to 74 bucks. I'm then gonna come down here and also make it a good until cancel order. And now that I'm happy with the opening trade, I'm gonna come down here and again, select create advanced order. You'll notice again, it takes us to the same screen as before. And honestly, we're gonna fill it out pretty much the same. We're going to go ahead and select the add order button over here on the left hand side. We're then going to go ahead and select it and actually specify the stop activation price once again. And for this one, I'll just make it a regular stop and I'm going to set the stop activation price as 70 bucks. The only other thing I need to do is come down here and flip it over from a day order to a GTC order. And now that I've got the stop filled out correctly, I'll go ahead and go back up to the group. And for this one, I also want to set a take profit order. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the add order button on the right hand side. I'll then go ahead and click on that second order ticket over there on the right. And for this one, I'm actually going to leave it set as a limit order because this is going to be my profit taking order. And what I'm essentially saying is don't sell these shares of GE unless it goes up to this price. So in this case, let's say I wanted my profit taking order to be 85 bucks a share. So go ahead and click on the price here. I'm gonna go ahead and type in 85 and hit done. I'm also gonna come down here and flip it over from a day order to a GTC order. And now that I'm happy with all of that, we'll just go ahead and go back up to the group in the upper left. So now looking here, we can actually see what it's telling us we're about to do. Starting at the top, we're saying we first wanna buy 10 shares of GE if it ever drops down to 74 bucks. We're then saying if that order ever actually fills, I actually buy those 10 shares of GE for 74, go ahead and put out a stop to get me out if it drops below 70, but also sell it if it goes above 85 because I want to sell it for a, what would that be, a $9 profit. Now, whichever one of those orders fills first, the other one is going to be automatically canceled. So if I end up selling it for 85, my stop is going to cancel itself. If I get stopped out at 70, my limit order is going to cancel itself. But in this case, everything looks good. I'm happy with this bracketed order that we're about to place. So we'll come up here and select review. 
We'll then just confirm everything in this order confirmation box looks correct and it is just confirming everything we just put on the previous screen. So right here we can see order one to buy 10 shares, we got order two to sell us out at a $70 stop, and then order three is to sell those 10 shares at 85. Now in this case everything looks good, so we'll simply come up here and select paper trade in the upper right, and now we can see on the order status page our brand new trade. Now I know that was a lot and I did go through it very quickly and I didn't spend a whole lot of time on those bracketed orders, but hopefully you all feel a lot more comfortable with how to place stops within the Thinkorsome app. If you do still have questions for me or recommendations for other video topics, please let me know down below. And also, if you guys are looking to learn more, YouTube seems to think you'll find this next video helpful as well, so go ahead and check that one out. But that's it for now, have a great rest of your week guys and I'll catch you on the next video.